Okay, students, I wanted to show you um, some basic input-output. So we usually call that I.O. And um, so far, we've shown how if we don't put a semicolon at the end of an expression, then the command window will kind of have a conversation with us. And so suppose I wanted to create a variable. I'll call it var, and I'll set it equal to 10. So if I don't put a semicolon, then um, MATLAB's going to tell me what it just did for me. It's going to say variable is equal to 10. Um, if I do put a semicolon here, it doesn't say anything back, but the variable still gets declared and assigned to a value of 10, as you can see on the workspace. So um, when we're going up to our script files and we're writing out um, the answers to our labs, there's kind of a better way to do this. We can use some basic I.O. We're going to use the display function. So the display function, um, to use it, you just type in DISP and you put in the value that you want um, displayed. So I can do DISP and then inside the parentheses goes the variable that I want to display. So I hit return. It's not going to print out var it's going to print out the variable that's stored, or the, um, the value that's stored in my variable that I called var. Okay, so you can do that. You can also type in directly some strings. So if I wanted to type in, um, have this print out my name, I want to enclose my name in single quotes. So you can put in any sentence here, and it'll display that. So sometimes when you're debugging code, um, I'll put in a display statement that says, like, um, uh, you can say, like, reached this point or something like that. And then you know that if you are running your code and you get to a particular point a certain number of times or something like that, then there will be a statement that prints out. Or um, if you want to check the variable inside of a loop, Every time that gets updated, you could do that with some kind of um, an iterator. So um, the display function is nice because then we go up here, we're writing our script files. Suppose we have some kind of a variable that we set equal to 10. I'm going to go ahead and put um, semicolons after everything, and then I'm just going to display what my result is by typing in um, the name of the variable. So let's try that for this upcoming lab, trying to use the display function. The display function is not going to write this to any file. It's just going to um, spit the value out um, on the command line in that command window. So let me know if you have any questions.